Welcome to another episode of the mini video series, Bite-Sized Tech Tales. In this series, we will demonstrate different features and functionalities of HPE GreenLeak for file storage systems. I'm Iris Wagner from Technical Marketing Engineering at HPE. And today, let's talk about the cross-protocol function of HPE GreenLeak for file. So we'll start out with the dashboard from the Data Services Cloud Console. And from here, you can just go straight to the file storage application tile. And over to the left-hand side, you can click the menu button to go to the share settings. And over here, we're gonna begin by creating a customized share setting for our cross protocol use. So just make sure you have the cluster selected that has the Active Directory configured already to be able to use the SMB protocol support. And in this case, we want to select the Mixed Last Wins as our security flavor. Otherwise, you can select your predominant protocol for the security flavor option. And then you can select the share setting name as well as the VIP pool. And just make sure you select the external provider as your authentication source to be able to use SMB protocol. And for the host base access, we're going to set no squash first for this case and read write for both protocols. And just pay attention to the default mode bits. The default mode bits cannot be customized because we have selected non-NFS as our security flavor. And after that, you are able to view all the selections you have set up and then create the share settings. So then let's head over to create a file share. First, we can select the protocols, SMB share name, as well as the file share path. And last but not least, select the file cluster. And in this case, let's select the file share setting we just created. And also because we're using SMB, we have the chance to set up the share level ACL over here as well for individual users as well as groups. We also have the ability to create quotas and protection policies, but we're going to skip that for this video. And then lastly, after you submit the request, your file share will be created instantaneously. And you have the opportunity to review the details as well. So now let's head over to our host to explore the file share that we just created. So first let's create a local directory. And then now we want to set the mode bits to be 777 to allow all permissions before we mount the NFS share. And then once you are able to do that, you can then create directory, create files under the file share root directory. And then let's head over to the Windows client and mount the same file share, but in SMB protocol. So over here, we select the shares path as well as active directory user. And then once we navigate into the folder we just created from NFS, and to note here, if you try to modify that file or modify that folder, you will not have the right permissions to do so. And that is because the default note mode bits are set to not allow anybody but the owner to have the right permissions. And this applies to not only the file, but also the folder as well. And that is why we previously set the mount folder to have the 777 mode bits to allow write permissions from other users. So as you can see, the write permissions are denied for both file and directory. So now let's head back one level up to the root of the file share. And now as the, from the SMB side, we are able to have the right permission at the root of the directory. 
As you can see, we can create the folder as well as the file. And now let's head back to the NFS client. And if you explore within the folder we just created, we are able to have the read permissions to do so. And because the practice of setting the root of the directory to have the 777 mode bits is not an, a good practice in terms of good security measures, we're going to demonstrate another way to not having to do that to also allow read write permissions from both protocols. And in this case, we have to log in to our client as our active directory user. So first we want to create a local directory. And because the AD user doesn't have the pseudo permissions, we rely on that um, to first create a local directory. And as you can see, even though the mode bits is 755, we have the owner and group as root. So we want to change that using the to own and to group a command to change the directory owner and group to the AD user and AD group. And after that, we're able to mount the file share as uh, using the NFS v4 protocol. So as you can see, we have the read write permissions from the root of the directory by default, even though the root of the directory only has the 755 mode bits set up. And then from the SMB side, we can also mount the file share as the AD user and also to have the permission to create folder as well as file by default 